good i like how in sync we are yeah of course we are yeah yeah uh, you're like justin timberlake yeah and i'm like one of the other ones that nobody knows the name of we can both be justin timberlake okay thank you we're both in sync we are we have finally reached day 10 of the 12 days of cinemas how are you feeling oh i'm i'm doing really good i you know i have a gift for your audience do you oh you're all going to alpha jail Uh oh alpha jail from an alpha male yes you know? of course you are so. the alphaest male i've ever collabed with with. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I thought. But you might have some competition today, though, I will say. Oh, why? Well, we're going to be um, reacting to a, a wonderful guy. He's a gun guy. He he loves his uh, <gasps> guns. Not those guns. Um, oh, OK. The America guns. Gotcha. OK. <laughs> I, I love guns. Do you? I think we should all have them. Yes. Especially the ones that fire quickly. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my stance. The automatic, right? See, I'm American. Yeah. I have my guns. The ones that can really just like cause mass destruction. Yeah, those, of course. I think that we should all have. I think we need more funding for guns. Yeah. And the army, the police, they don't have enough money. Seriously, I love a gun that sounds like an excerpt from the Nick Cannon movie Drumline. Yeah. Where it's just so fast. So quick, so fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we have our boy Reed Hendricks today. What is your first impression of our of this? lovely baby boy he loves his guns i like the video titled stop wasting your range time which i completely oh. agree with we're all waiting in line i love how surreal the, yeah. the thumbnail is so surreal yeah it's a dolly if you will yeah a man dressed as a woman who murdered people is not an excuse excuse oh for it what? isn't to deprive you oh, of your right deprive what? your right <laughs> not not Obby. quite <laughs> not um i would love a little bit of context but i also don't feel like watching more of him than we need to yeah i like the wizard of oz too so that's a good yeah. thumbnail he looks really good first of all like i love his hair yes his beautiful gorgeous brunette locks yeah looks like um maybe a disney prince yes he does give disney prince vibes i hope he's in the new live action little mermaid movie yeah that's supposed to come as out like the, as like the one who like fishes for all the sharks and mm -hmm. like <laughs> eats them and then protests for 2a in atlantis right <laughs> right just like a collapse an underwater collapse if you yeah. will so tells king but triton yeah, we need our guns and he's like <laughs> yeah, no yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're literally fish the bullets are so slow underwater so yeah. what's that gonna do mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. This guy's pretty stupid. But we were looking at so his website before we yeah. started. And I think I think we need to show the people at home. I agree. I agree. His gun <laughs> classes. He has gun classes. So right. in only two short days, you can become a rifleman. That sounds right. foolproof. It, <laughs> <laughs> it, it does sound foolproof. I don't think that this is going to uh, go wrong in any way. Um, mm -hmm. Now, there are some course equipment requirements. If you click on it, you need to show up with... Oh, it's six hundred and forty-five dollars for two days. Yeah. That's good. What a steal! Um, your own rifle, your own sling, rounds, magazines, rain gear, eye protection, sunscreen. Well, that's good. At least yeah, he's all about SPF. Protective of their skin. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> pen and paper. You also need to bring a lunch. So what are you learning? You're just learning from him. He doesn't provide anything. He just shows up to and takes your six hundred dollars. That is awesome. And there's I, no minimum age to take the class, so just like a three-year-old can come up and become a rifleman in two days. That's actually pretty perfect because. I was looking to adopt so that I could have someone to go to this class with. Perfect. Shane Dawson, when he has his kid next year, he can... Malibu Barbie right now. We've got a million different options here. And then we click on... I clicked on the small arms course. Now, for someone like me, I wouldn't be able to take this class because my arms are so muscular and ginormous. Yes. You so have a different kind of gun. Guns. Guns. Obviously. Guns. Multiple. This is $1,300. Um, <laughs> to stand in the sweaty August heat and learn about yep. small arms from some rando from Tennessee. Yeah, from your favorite YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got private sessions. I want a private session with Mr. Reed Hendricks. It's zero cost awesome. though, so. That's pretty good. Like, yeah. I, that's, I mean, it's basic, it's free. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that. You can see like uh, instructor bios, which I love at the very bottom. And Reed seems like he's killed a lot of people. He's a high body count. 
out. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, obviously, look at him. <laughs> he looks like <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy high. if he was a proud boy. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, where were you January 6th? Yes, please give us um, um, a detailed log of your whereabouts in early January 2021. Yeah, he's also the author of two books, oh. Pistol Craft, a number one selling book available on Amazon, and also The American Rifleman, released wow. in late 2019. So that's good. He's a man who wears many hats, many, many trucker hats, apparently. Yeah, many Bass Pro Shops hats. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> right. That's I mean, does. like, and JJ has... Wittenborn. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't come up with a better name if I tried. Uh, and just no. Clay. G just Clay. JJ Wittenborn. Awesome. Retired honorably from the Illinois State Police after 27 years of service, working his way to the rank of sergeant. Okay, Slay. King. Literally. Uh, you probably from slayed the many people. And no, then that's, just Clay. That's really good. Yeah, Clay Brinkley. Th these are the most American names I've ever seen. Like, we're white, but this is Caucasian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Wait, they have they have a class on pistol craft on the thirteenth. Pissing? Should we go <laughs> on pissing craft? Yeah. Oh, it's on December thirteenth and fourteenth. At, at the time of filming, it's coming up. I'm so excited. Yeah, I think we should uh, make a date and go. Maybe make it a double date with our partners. I think that would be fun. I would love that, but unfortunately, there's only one ticket left. These things sell quickly. Rats. So. I would imagine rats, they're just <laughs> rats. Is right. They're just selling like hotcakes. Reed probably has a pair of hot cakes on him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you bet <laughs> oh, your bottom boy. dollar I do. <laughs> you bet your his bottom. <laughs> so he's got a Patreon. Oh, okay. He's Support got, a small creator. Now he's got a lot of patrons. If you go to his Patreon, the middle tier kind of looks like the Iron Cross that um a certain German group wore it, you in know the what? 1930s it does. and 40s. No, it looks to me like Kanye West would be like making fan art out of that shape, you know? He would print that on the next like Yeezy drop or something like on the show yeah, for sure like nick um, fuentes is like get me one of these <laughs> <laughs> where can i buy one of those five dollars a month yes please that's a steal 300 patrons Great. So wow. he can be making anywhere from three hundred dollars to six thousand dollars. That gives me a lot of That's faith insane. in humanity. Honestly, he's crushing it. And who are we to judge? <laughs> We're just some beta lefties hating on yeah. a real man. Yeah, we hate manly men. This is a yeah, real man. That is a yeah. s real sexy man. He is essentially America as a man. As a tuber. A tuber. Yeah. That's what all of us tubers call YouTube because we're we're tubers. Obviously, it's what I put on my taxes. Yeah. Do you want to read the description? description for Mr. Hen Henrix, Henrik, Hendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Hen yeah, Henrik Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> this channel is dedicated to the American people. The beginning and end of this republic. Uh -oh. Us. Hey. It is also dedicated to those worldwide who are not born here, but who nonetheless embody the principles of freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We will be focused on firearms, freedom, history, and training. Check out these firearms. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, true. Oh my gosh. God, I should have come up with that. Shit. I'm sorry. I stole your bit. Yeah, I get it. Each of these is focused around learning and preserving freedoms. The content is meant to be positive, powerful, and beneficial to your lives. Oh, yeah. Good. Each video will enable you to use the information immediately in your personal life. Great. <laughs> immediately. Immediately, I've learned how to shoot people. I can't wait to show up to Christmas dinner with a rifle. In these times, our spare moments are ever waning as we make ends meet. With that, this channel will be worth your while. And I will put out helpful videos for you to the best of my ability. I am right. great grateful to have the honor of passing information on to you and for the chance to make a difference to people. What he's doing right there is literally just trying to fill a word requirement. Yeah. Like none of that meant anything. He just repeated the same thing over and over. Really not saying anything. No, not at all. No. And I love the Canadian slash UK spelling of honor. Yeah. Honor. I thought you spoke American. Are you kidding me? I thought you spoke North American, you freak. Fucking weirdo. Go back to Valor Ridge, man. Take your rifle and small arms too. Yeah. Go back to Upland shorts. Ooh, look at me. I'm, oh, he only has one. Oh, look at me. Ooh, I ran one. a 107 drill today. <laughs> Combine physical dot dot dot. Yeah, who cares, man? If you have a Smith and Wesson shield, watch this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Awesome. He wants to fuck that gun. That's what he does, honestly. Just lube He's... the end of that rifle. Do you think he eats pussy? Uh, that uh, no. was kind of... <laughs> No. He's like, listen, I've been in combat and smelled rotting corpses, but this is grosser than that. You won't catch me down there. I don't like the texture. Like, you <laughs> you gotta understand. <laughs> like, come on. The clip isn't even real, babe. Oh my god, he's a fucking 
freak and I love it. I mean, he's not a freak. That's I no. think that's why I love him. We're supposed to be afraid of this? A woman? <laughs> a regular With ass dyed woman? Hair? Yeah. Oh, that's why she has blue hair and pronouns and yeah. armpit hair probably. Ugh. Ugh. Good lord. Women. Oh my god, wait. The video next to it. Cleaning and lubricating your AR-15. Oh my god, that you literally called it. Why would you be cleaning and lubricating it if you're not literally trying to fuck it? I'm telling you, he fucks his guns. Not to kink shame. Don't we all? Obviously. I mean, we can can we kink shape him? Yes. Kink shaming is okay sometimes. Okay, just just for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. No, that's awesome. So without any With further ado, this is leftists hate manly men. Mm -hmm. And they do. I hate them. I fucking hate them. Those lefties. It could just be pure jealousy, at least for you. Yeah, they got all the attention. It's like, we literally raid the Capitol and what? It's a couple days news. And then yeah. these lefties talk about like, whatever. <laughs> like... <laughs> like probably like Disney and how Disney's brainwashing our kids. And then it gets all the news press. Suddenly everyone is in a tizzy. Everybody's in a, in a lefty tizzy. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? Here we come, Reed. And we will. Unlike your wife. I love this. Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. Hi Reed. The purpose of today's video is to analyze socialism for what it truly is. Mm -hmm. And the biggest okay. goal besides collective society with the complete and utter lack of individual freedom and liberty. He's so mad. He's so mad that he can't speak full sentences. He's tripping over his words. What's written on the back here? We've got purpose, purpose marksmanship. What are mm -hmm. you fighting for? And then, oh, what's that? The beautiful Confederate flag sticker right above right. his head. Do you think it came in like a like a sticker pack? Like buy two, get one free from Etsy? Yeah, from like Breitbart shop. Yeah, <laughs> something really cool like that. Was it signed by Ben Shapiro? He's like, oh, I'm going to sign this. That's how he talks. Mm, I don't make my <laughs> wife come. Facts don't care about your feelings. Meow. This guy looks like if Ben Shapiro got punched in the jaw and it stayed swollen. And he grew a man bun. Yeah. I <laughs> love the merch face though. The Valor Ridge eyes. merch. That goes hard. It, yeah, it, it really does. That jacket is probably so comfortable. Like it's, it's probably so loose that when you hit your kids, it doesn't even tug or pull, <laughs> you know? I'm sure it flexes when he's shoving his AK-47 up his <laughs> fucking hoo-ha. This guy has a hoo-ha for sure. His re -dussy. My God, literally a re <laughs> Henrik Gussie. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Holy fuck. Shit. is to destroy everything manly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard me right. Uh, that is their goal. They have to destroy anything that real men have created in order to implement their soy boy reality mm. of uh, beta male ship. Yeah. That's what I am. I'm literally a soy boy. Can you? Okay. I don't understand soy boy. Is it just like... I've just learned this in the past year, but like soy has a certain chemical and people... Gotcha. I don't know what the exact name of it is, but people think that soy increases your estrogen, which I I don't think it does. That makes sense why I've heard people be like, yeah, soy boys uh, have man boobs. Yeah. That the estrogen's going to make you grow boobs. Yeah, betas so. drink like their soy chai lattes. Little do they know that after I drink all my soy, my boobs grow so big that I can just feed myself like a fountain. Like I can just do it myself. So like up yours, I have an unlimited supply. That's so cool. Thank you. Uh, you could swing them over your shoulder. Literally, I'm a continental soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Slay. Oh, fuck. I'm jealous. Why don't my boobs do that? Um, I don't know. Sorry. You just, yeah. you just want to be me. It's okay. You want to be a soy boy. I want to, <sighs> I want to. You wish. I want to milk myself. Uh, can't. <laughs> Only me. So he's mad that certain men can lactate. Yeah. Lactation. He's against lactation. He's anti-lactation. What the fuck? That's so fucked up. You can't even lactate anymore. He's probably getting paid off by big milk. He's definitely like on the big inside. There's some inside trading. <laughs> yeah, big cow. <laughs> <laughs> Valor Ridge, I love you and I want to hear more. Truly really what they want. And I want you to think about any socialist state, like think California, mm -hmm. New York. Of course. Places like that yeah. uh, where, the, where the beta males have started to run the show. I want you to think about the commonalities. Is he from Canada? He's from Tennessee. That show sounded a little Canadian. Did it? Run the show? Run the show? Run the show? Run the show? Run yeah, the show? Yeah, that's literally... So he's just cosplaying an American. Yeah, seriously. Wow. Go back to your country is basically what I'm trying to say. Stop being such a fucking fraud, Reed. How about that? You don't belong. You suck. Fuck you, Reed. Yeah, up yours, dude. Yeah, like that rifle. Yeah, seriously. Up and, up and down as mm. well. 
know, over and over is what he prefers. In that re of yours. <laughs> I want you to think about the commonalities between all... Yeah, well, I'm not even going to limit it to the United States. Look at, look at pretty much all of Europe with the exception of a handful of countries. We've got a lot of great okay. people that watch the channel from Europe over there. Um, I feel bad for y'all. <laughs> I really do because you used to be a society and a culture of warriors and now you're a society and a culture of beta males that are literally pissing your countries away. Putin, beta male. <laughs> Zelensky, beta male. Obviously. Yeah, pissing your countries away. Huh, interesting. They're all peeing. It's just a giant golden shower in Europe. Yeah, no, which is really great mm -hmm. because that's that's what he loves. I can lactate and um, unfortunately he can't. He can just pee in his own mouth. He's a fascinating human. He says he's from Tennessee, but I don't believe it because he has an accent. Yeah, maybe he's since moved to Tennessee. The only reason why I say Tennessee is because like their P.O. box They're or whatever was in Tennessee. He was in the U.S. Marine Corps. So maybe also, he just has just a funny little about accent. That. Why is there a P? Just, why is there a P? Just like there's a silent K and, you know, all the other weird English rules that we have. Um, Yeah, but it's like, say corpse because that's what most of the people joining will be. Whoa! Whoa! We! <laughs> Wowie Zach! <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, we're going to piss off a lot of military people today. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, sorry. Hope you come back safe. We love you, kind of. <laughs> Little hearts. While you're serving overseas, we're serving here. <laughs> yeah, lit literally. Oh my God. You're serving in the Marine Corps. We're serving in the... In the tube. The tube. Tube. Tube core. All right. That was, I, that was good. I'm a comedian, so. Yeah. Tube core. Absolutely. Yeah. Hit play. Let's get back to work. Uh, like they're trying to do here in the United States. <laughs> Normally, I take a more moderate tone on things, but not lately, with that I've Confederate just flag in the background. Had a lot of things that no, have not at me, all. Uh, with people on the left and socialists. <laughs> Let me give you some examples of why socialism wants to kill everything that's manly, or how they are <laughs> attempting mm -hmm. to kill all things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go to public schools. I taught public school for three years. I have absolute authority. I actually lost my job because I ended up dating one of the seniors in my class, but uh, that's all right. What do you mean he taught public school? Did they teach firearm safety in public schools? Yeah, now he's not allowed within 500 feet of any elementary school. <laughs> he can't even reach one with a rifle. That's how fucking far away his restraining order is. He gives me gym teacher vibes, like toxic gym teacher vibes that 100%. looks at all the girls' butts when they're doing like yes. push-ups. When I walk the mile, he like whispers the F slur under his breath, you know? Yeah. Like a real American. No, because I have seen the attempt at, at, at demasculating emasculating or emasculating uh, young teenage boys. They want to get rid of dodgeball because they think that it's too aggressive. Oh. Um, like, I'm sorry, but that's a microcosm for life. Like, you're either going to catch someone else's stuff or you're going to hit somebody. Or that you're going to get way. a concussion and reality. suffer a lifelong consequences for it. What do you mean you're getting rid of dodgeball? Like, people are just realizing what it does to their brains. This guy was obviously hit in the head way too many times to fucking understand <laughs> what's bad about that. I don't think that they're getting rid of dodgeball fully. I think it was just like, don't aim for the head. That's always been a rule. And there was always one kid who, like, purposely did it that's him yeah he's the one who's like why uh he gave people lifelong injuries what the fuck? He did. that's called reality that's called life True. that's called competition uh they want to get rid of anything that has to do with uh male aggression they don't want people fighting in schools. <laughs> oh, don't hit back. Don't hit back. What does he want? To find fighting in schools. People don't want fighting in schools. People don't want male aggression. That's a bad thing. I don't know. Like, what is he talking about? Like, men can't be aggressive anymore. You have a YouTube channel with 200,000 subscribers where you shoot guns. What's aggressive to you? You charge people $700 to become a <laughs> rifleman in 48 hours. What the fuck? I love that. And then what was the other thing he said that we can't do? Oh, no hitting back. That's what he said. Yes. That's always been like a pseudo rule, but I've always believed that you can hit back. Not, I mean, wait, <laughs> wait, hold up. Not in every context. No. But if you're being bullied and a guy pushes you into a locker and says, hey, hey, give you a wedgie. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You break out of that locker and you punch him. I'm okay with that. Yes. I also like, there's this kid at my high school who like had a thing for like shoving AK-47s in his ass. I wonder if this is him. That could just be a coincidence. I mean, we all know someone from high school who yeah. anally fucks AK-47s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. The only solution to that situation is that you have to hit somebody back. What are you going to do if you've never thrown a punch? Like, I, I've, I mean, I've, I've coached football. 
you know, high school yes, football. Yes, you have. I've coached yeah. high school sports. I have coached high school sports. Yeah, you have. Okay. Uh, uh-huh. And what we try to instill in those He's guys. the kind of guy who still brags about his football scores. Oh, yeah. 30 years after he graduated high school. And he was like, I was, I was number three on my team. Like, buddy, you graduated in 1992. I think it's time to move on. We were 14 and two in the 80s. Do you get that? <laughs> Do you get how good that was? <laughs> my God. You youngins don't know these days. You Do you know who I am? I was a legend. <laughs> I used to I used to run this school. Oh my god. He goes to every football game. He got fired as the coach, but has to dress up in a disguise to cheer on the team. But he's actually looking at the cheerleaders like what oh. he's he's something else. I love him though. Now the other thing is is other examples are firearms. That scene is an extension of male can't domination, bring that in isn't school. it? That's real I wonder scary why. to all the leftists out there. But they want to get rid of firearms because they think, oh, that's 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 too dangerous. That's too The firearm is one of the greatest tools ever invented. The firearm has saved millions of people's lives. Uh, The firearm has saved countries. The firearm has saved families from rape and brutalization. All right. Okay. The first two examples that he gave were firearms have saved millions. Entire countries. Saved entire countries, right? So yes, those aren't just random people with guns. Those are militias or police. Trained armies. People who know what they're doing. I am a 21 year old who has had eight knee surgeries and I could go get a gun right now. I would be able to shoot it because my knees would re-break but i would be able to hold one yeah and really scare off some some people take a selfie <laughs> take a selfie with the it's actually a selfie stick that's what i use it for and if anyone gets in your picture well they're going to suffer the consequences that's true seriously but see the, the socialists don't view it that way they don't view it that way at all they view it as the problem uh, other things that you want to see that they want to get rid of this is an obvious one here any kind of male chivalry towards women yeah. uh, anytime you want to open a door for a woman oh that's offensive no one How has dare- ever said that no one yeah, has I, ever genuinely said that you ever open the door for someone and then you get stuck in that awkward thing where it's like is this person going to run towards me and get through the door mm-hmm. or am i going to have to wait for this person because then it seems weird if i'm just opening the door for this person who's like half a mile away yeah i did that a couple days ago but you know what happened is the person actually didn't say hey that's offensive Mm -hmm. they said thank you yeah so it's interesting i want to know the other examples he gives because this is uh this is fascinating um other giving a woman a compliment on her outfit and i mean a genuine compliment on her outfit not a sleazy i'm going to try to score later compliment interesting okay well now he's losing us he really wants to compliment women you can you absolutely can what does he think is like a genuine not sleazy compliment that jw anderson dress looks really nice on you today (laughs) what i love that tiffany bracelet you're not appreciating like what they're wearing or their style it's most likely you're going to sound creepy like he's gawking at them that's how it's gonna come off like there's a reason why women if they're by themselves don't talk to random men on the street it's not for no reason <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm talking about a genuine appreciation for the beauty that scene no, is well, offensive now the, or no, 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 no. the beauty is completely different than what you're saying because he said that he was complimenting their outfit mm-hmm. and then he changed to the beauty of the person yeah. which then becomes creepy yeah so what's happening <laughs> like it's different to say hey i like your jacket than it is to say hey i like your eyes and your face and everything about you and that ass and those titties and yeah those legs yeah yeah, and that that vulva. That vulva's looking tight, girl. <laughs> He's like, I know of the perfect gun that we could play with. Sexual harassment. What? The attempt at emasculation of society is so obvious that not be, to not see it, someone would have to be blind. So what do you do about this? What do you do Tell about me. this situation? Well, first mm-hmm. of all, the last time that a beta male's opinion mattered to me was <laughs> uh, never. Oh, uh, he got you. He got us. Oh, my God. He literally got me. He really nailed it. Holy shit. Uh, never. He's so unbothered that he made an 11 minute video about beta males. <laughs> right. And I doubt this is his only one. No. Like This is just part of the greatest hits. He has a playlist in his YouTube channel probably called Leftists, where he just talks about them and shoving guns up his ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How unfortunate would it be if he took the safety off? Yeah. Because they are so weak and and they are so protein deficient that there's no possible way that they're going to harm you physically, which is why they want their big brother government to do it for them, uh, because they're so used to tattling the teacher and getting their way uh, that they have just extended that into their uh, post-adolescent 
life. Life. I feel like majority of leftists right now don't really like the government that we're under. No, I think most of us hate it. So I guess what's his point? <laughs> He's saying that we trust the government so much to have it back us up against the right. I don't think that's true. I think if you asked most leftists, they would say that they don't like Biden. They don't like the current state of the Democratic Party. You know, I think this guy should become president. What would his campaign slogan be? Guns for all. Guns for all. Guns for all, big and small. That's so good. Thank you. I think if he's watching, he should take notes. Seriously, that's a bumper stick. Take that MAGA sticker off. So we have to think about off. what we need yeah, to do merch. as real men, as real leaders. And I'll tell you something, the majority of women like real men. They really do. Uh, for you guys out there, I know I've got a lot of teenagers and are these women that watch in the, the room with you? Well. <laughs> <laughs> they're all here. They're all here. Every single one of them are here. Yeah, they're... Uh, yes, against their will. Actually sitting behind me right now. Yeah, they're actually uh, taking turns shoving automatic rifles up my ass. That's why you can't see below my waist. Of course. Love it. I couldn't imagine going to high school right now. Like, I just simply couldn't imagine it because all the things that we Plus, were allowed those are to peak do back years. then would yeah. probably get us expelled from school now. But I want to tell you all out there, you younger uh, teenage boys or young men, and also you young guys in college. I know i got a ton of young guys in college that watch the channel as well. There's no substitute for being a real man. There's no substitute for speaking the truth in the face of rabid leftist opposition. It's extremely rabid. attractive rabid. Uh, to people that are <laughs> tuned in to what's actually going on. I want to give you guys another piece of advice. Never back down uh, from the truth and never back down when you know you're in the right. Stand up for yourself. When you're in class and you hear all these idiot, effeminate, horribly oh. weird <laughs> people... <laughs> That was awesome. I actually really liked this that. Idiot is, uh, feminine. <laughs> he turned into like a monster. That was really cool. <laughs> Just like a little velociraptor. Yeah, he's the right wing Hulk. He's like shifting, like slowly shifting into a different person. I love that he's like, I love all the young boys that are watching this channel. Young men. I love all the young men. Love all the young men that are watching this channel. Thanks for uh, thanks for the support. Hope you uh, bring your guns to college. Mm -hmm. Also, I love that he's like, don't back down when you know you're in the right. You're not listening to anything else when you know you're in the right that's it yeah it's over that's how don't you don't listen to any outside opinions seriously especially from like women no never stand up for yourself stand on your own two feet lift yourself up and don't back down from these people okay. now i want you to think about this okay masculinity yeah. isn't macho Okay, that macho is, you know, what? being uh, this this bravado, saber rattling like person over the top. That's that is ha like him. Isn't that the kind of person that he's been describing this entire time? Like <laughs> some macho dude with guns and like yeah. talking down to people. I feel like that's his inner circle is just people who look like Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like liver kings on his inner inner circle with more steroids. Who would have thought they also shoved those up their ass? Oh, my God. They can't stop. Can't Stop, Everyone sees stop. through the, the fake True. macho -ness when people try to do that stuff. Being a real man means that you believe in who you are. You oh. believe in your cause. Okay. You believe in your purpose. Mm -hmm. And you believe in the truth that you discover yourself. That's what being a real man is. Never mm -hmm. backing down. But also knowing when to back down as well. See that? So don't back down, but also back down. <laughs> I'm a little lost. I believe that he just said two things back to back that were the complete opposite. Know when to back down, but don't back down. All I right, love no, him. Yeah. He's so hot. He well, is really hot. How bad do you think his hair smells? I think it smells like a mix of hay, Jack Daniels, and cigarettes. Oh my God. How bad do you think the inside of his hat smell? <gasps> he hasn't washed that ever. No, never. He has gone to war and back legitimately mm -hmm. and <laughs> not wash that. He's like, yes, there is uh, the blood of an 11 year old on my hat. And that's, uh, you know how some people put pins on their hats? That's mm -hmm. his little collector's item. He's like, okay, so we have O negative here. A. A, B. <laughs> yeah. It smells funky in there. Oh, it does for sure. There's like a new organisms growing in there. 100%. Yeah. Fight everybody Termites. that challenges us. Although that'd be fun most <laughs> of the time. But there are a lot of people like who, like I just, I, y y they, they deserve to be a punch in the face. But a real man doesn't Wasn't always he, go out and do these. He was literally just talking about macho man and masculinity yes. not being like bravado and. Correct. So what is it? But you've got to punch people in the face if they need it. Yeah. Obviously. But also don't hold back. <laughs> also hold back. And you're always right but you're also need to know when you're not right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, he's awesome. He's a genius. He's just running in like a circle, like a dog chasing its tail. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> um, the dog chasing his man bun. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I can picture him just like 
sort of snapping back at his fucking man bun, trying to chase that shit. Oh my god. With all the fleas? Are you kidding me? This poor guy. <laughs> Lice. Oh my god. The oil yeah. just dripping down. Uh, oh, oh my god. His pillow's drenched in the morning. His wife doesn't sleep next to him just because he wakes up in just straight up oil. <laughs> Underneath their bed is like a vat of oil. Like, no, honey, we're practicing modesty. Yeah, no sex before marriage. At least they have natural lube, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. That's pretty good. And he can also, like, fry an egg afterwards. Perfect. Nice breakfast. Yeah, seriously, you could fry an egg on that forehead. A hundred percent. Yummy, Thanks. yum, yum. So I want you to think about what the left is yum. trying to do. I want you to think about um, the assault on masculinity in our society. And I want you to stand up for yourself out there if you're a young man or, or even a man that's got experience, it's got a little mileage under your belt. <laughs> all you ladies out there, you're like, oh, but what about us? I, I, I know you all appreciate a guy that holds the door open for you. I know you appreciate uh, when a guy is willing to protect you. Of course. I know you appreciate when a yeah. guy has strong convictions yeah. and does it tactfully. And when he's convicted for um, <laughs> multiple things. For assault and battery. I know that you appreciate when that happens. I know you do. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to my wife. Uh. <laughs> and this is all what this is all about. This country was not based. Th this country was not built by beta males. OK, this country was built by guys that had a vision, that had a purpose, that were willing mm -hmm. to use firearms to protect themselves against criminals and violent people trying to instill their worldview on them, on the other people. Isn't that what we did to other people, though? Like we literally like colonized. Sure. Right. Yeah, that is an interesting point. I <laughs> I don't, but I doubt he's thinking about anything like that. I think he's just like one track minded, one man bun minded. Yeah. Except even though he's one track minded, he's switching tracks. He's switching lanes constantly. And that lane is just going in a circle. It's it's just, it's like a, oh, oh my God, they're after him. There was an ambulance that just drove by. Huh. Uh oh. Yeah. This poor guy <laughs> left the safety. <laughs> Let the safety off. This poor guy. Oh my God. That's what you get. ...is all about, and it's True. really about standing up and being a man. When I was a young kid, my dad always told me, son, be a man. Oh, that's good. That's how Be a man. Now, what that has meant over the years that I've discovered has been all the things that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Speaking the truth, not backing down in the face of opposition. Always be willing to protect yourself and others for the right cause. Always standing up and being able to protect others who are weaker than you. That's what being mm -hmm. a man is all about. Protect Teaching the those next who generation. are weaker than you, but also yeah. make fun of them. Yeah, for being weaker than you? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I completely agree with him, to be honest. I think I've turned. Yeah. I need to be protected. I've had all these surgeries. I've been in and out of a wheelchair my whole life. I need to be protected by him. And if he needs an assistant to just go in and out slowly, gradually going faster and faster with a AK-47 guzzle, nuzzle, You're his nozzle. Guy. I'm his guy, literally. Or if you can even call me a guy to be honest. Yeah. He would take offense to that. You're just a beta soy boy. Young men about what this country is all about and what being a man is. That's what being a man is all about. And the leftist, you can scream, bitch, piss, and moan all you want to. <laughs> that's what oh I'm doing God. right now. That was like those comments that's like, I'm literally screaming, crying, pissing, throwing up, coming. Like, that's what he's, <laughs> that's what, what he was thinking. Is he's like, you can scream, bitch, piss, moan. Cry, shit, queef, Quiver. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Squirt. Yeah. He's like, I'm literally squirting right now. <laughs> all of, all of the, the right. floor is wet. I'm going to slip. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Bottom line is we're more armed than you are, and we know how to actually use them, and we actually have truth on our side and can debate you into the ground because you have no arguments oh, whatsoever yeah. except being a preschool oh. child who likes uh -oh. to hold their breath until they get their way. <laughs> he has a kid who's in preschool right now who is like, hey, come on. Come on. I'm in preschool. Dad. Like a preschool child who holds their breath until they want to get their way. Whoa. Friendly fire. Oh my God. I wish, I wish some of your, uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get hunted down. It's okay. If you found the information in the video interesting and intriguing, I've got some books that I'm going to put in the description box down below that I think that you ought oh. to read. Hell yeah! And if you want to have further discussions and you want to actually uh, learn about what being a man is, there are plenty of people in your area that are probably as fed up with the beta male culture as you are. Go on out there, True. meet some people. Rally together, go to the Capitol. Just start <laughs> knocking on people's doors and be like, hey, yeah. are you tired of beta males in our society? Excuse me, excuse me. Two in the morning. They're like, we're not interested in the church. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. I'm actually wondering. I have work in three hours. I'm actually really busy. Excuse me, actually, do you believe that women deserve rights? No? Good, awesome. Right. <laughs> Can you uh, come with us? Is, is the rest of this video just a promo for books? Oh, 
<gasps> what? Whoa, I just fast forwarded. There's a new character. Oh, yes. So as a woman, what is the most unattractive thing that a guy does? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm so excited for this. As a woman, I'm genuinely curious what she thinks. Holy shit. Is that his wife? I'm, I'm pumped. As, as far as a lack I hope of masculinity. So. Skinny jeans and, and vegan special snowflake diets. And I say this as someone who has a special snowflake yeah, diet. Yeah, she, she, is, she is practically a vegan. She really is. <laughs> not, well, not my choice. So what... <laughs> So what was the point of that? Vegan special snowflake diet. But I'm also on a s snowflake diet. You're actually basically vegan. She's like, well, no, I don't want to wanna be. Yeah. Yeah, so what, you're allergic to dairy? Just say you're allergic to dairy. I'm on a snowflake diet. Ugh. <laughs> My choice, but yeah. Okay, now we have had students that wore skinny jeans, but I mean, they're not beta males, but I mean, what, what is so unattractive about all that? <laughs> what? Again, it's just like, oh, don't wear skinny jeans, you're a beta male, but uh -huh. actually, we have students who wear skinny jeans and they're alpha males. Not only does he contradict himself, he brings on a guest onto his fucking YouTube show and then contradicts them and then proves the point that nobody knows what they're talking about. <laughs> Like, no, we, we actually, I got to stick up for the skinny jean wearers over here. I've actually got a couple students who have given me their life savings so that I could teach them how to shoot. Yeah, I got a couple two-day rifle men who wear skinny jeans. <laughs> men. 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 I want to know what's pretty lame about skinny jeans. The, when a man projects, I cannot protect you, and I'm unwilling to protect myself mm -hmm. because it's just, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. And that whole violence thing, I think that's so passe and we need to evolve past that as a species. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Negatory. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So. Usually a violent man is seen as a red flag. Right. For people. I want a man who hurts me. Yeah. I want a man who expresses his feelings only through anger. Yeah. And yelling. And you know, come to think of it, I want more holes in my drywall. I think it's a nice. <laughs> Uh, nice little decoration. That's not an issue in our relationship. No, no, no it's not. Uh, so it is his wife. Yeah. Wow. What a couple. I'm like, they're actually goals, to be honest. I love I how love she so looks much. like Little House on the Prairie with the cute little bandana. Yeah. I feel like people should make edits out of this like they used to in Vine, like some nice happy music behind it. And then it's like, yeah. you're the one for me. And then cut to him like shooting <laughs> and like. Someone make a fan know. cam. Seriously, it's so good. That's it's gonna be your sin miss gift to us. That's all I want for Christmas is a fan cam. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh! So we th we think about um, oh, okay other man. things like this. What? Uh, oh, that's so nice. What is it that that people like? You see the emasculation of American of the American. Isn't it demasculation? Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. You didn't say that. You're right. I never make a mistake. Uh, what mm -hmm. was it when you were growing we're up when you were younger? And what is it now? What is the what is the biggest transition that you've seen as far as emasculation? Gosh, um, I would say in the clothing in the speech patterns what is you, another one. The speech patterns. Oh. Everything that I've seen from the the soy boys, the emasculated males, <gasps> is a a trepidation in speech. Well. You know, I just feel, it's like, have a freaking opinion. Well. The tighter the jeans, the higher the voice, yeah, the well, more likely I, a soy boy. Yeah, I, I don't really have an opinion on that, I'm going to be honest. Speak I'm up. Just, Stop feeling. No, I, can't, I can't. I'm a little soy boy. Express your opinion, Jake. Okay, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, I don't know, cause a massacre. Like a real man should. Attack a group of people. Picture like a, a proud boy who's silent like that. How funny would that be? Yeah. yeah. Like, ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. I'm a proud boy. I'm just a what a proud boy. Ooh, woo. But not too proud. <laughs> I'm a shy boy. I'm a little I'm sweet a cinnamon boy. boy. This lady is fascinating to me. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I want to hear her talk for the rest of my life. If you talk to them <laughs> in a normal voice, they'll get scared. It's true. Like I've, I've been, I've walked up to someone and said, hey, how's it going? Like just yeah. a, a normal, bassy, normal male voice, you know, like maybe, scares them. Maybe yeah, it's because it, it, you're not a good person. Right. And people don't like being around you. Maybe it's because of your man bun and your swollen face. Maybe it's because you look like a fucking monster. You look like Aquaman's evil brother. Brother, oh my god, you're right. Who just had an allergic reaction yesterday and still hasn't like really gotten the swelling down. That's what you are. And I, I'm sorry that I'm not whispering this, sir, mm -hmm. but this is something that I genuinely believe in. That's my opinion. Yes. Is you look like Aquaman's brother who is allergic to peanuts. So Got him. Got him. Roasted. Hashtag roasted. Roasted. Roasted peanuts. Make your, clo your, your throat swell up. Yes. Got him. And I'll tell you what Good I think fun. it is. I think it is... A hesitancy 
from a lack of solid foundational truth. If mm. you don't have solid foundational truth that is internalized, then you're a sail that's blowing in the wind that's not, you know, tied down. All right, so if you had some advice for, like, younger guys out there, like like the teenagers, maybe younger college guys, if you get give them any advice, me, me, like me. maybe they're a little bit shy around women, but they, they've got that manliness inside of them, like yep. they like guns, they like talking to, uh, you know, about me, wrestling boy. and boxing and jits and all that. Like, what advice I love, would you give I love them? all of them. Strength mm -hmm. all the gems. with poise, um, and I think solid biblical principles. Okay. That's just me. Yes! I have all Finally. of those. I love Christ. The key to manliness. Yeah, honestly, Christ Almighty. God bless. You have to be strong and also believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. A woman. Because she looks like Mary Magdalene. <laughs> she literally crawled out of the Bible and got a North Face puffer. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus, he signed up for the NRA, got his Valor Ridge jacket, and was like, I'm gonna... That is Jesus. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my, oh my god. That's actually so nice. That's so cool. I love Jesus Christ Superstar. That's just me. Um, because when I see when I see a person... Well, I have my... <laughs> I have my man here. I just, I just walked into it, man. I like, know, just, I, I'm wow, she just cucked her own husband. Yeah, she did. How alpha. When I find the right... Oh my god. That was awesome. Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. When I find someone oh actually i have someone actually i just remembered i have the right person i'm, I'm sorry i just <laughs> look at that smile he's dead he's dead <laughs> he has nothing his, behind the eyes his ego is shattered yes completely shattered his mouth goes so much wider than his teeth <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. Those <laughs> that, pearly that yellows is. shining yeah, in the camera. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my God. He's too alpha to take care of himself. That's really nice. And girls out there, you know, <laughs> like you too can find love. I like to oh, see men that are strong and firm and resolute mm. in their faith firm. and willing to take a stance. I love a firm man. Yeah, what the? I'm willing to take a stance on this. Hey, blow your nose and stop letting the snot trickle down. Do you see that rash? <laughs> Get some flonase for fuck's sake. Oh my God. Do you see that rash? Queenie, take a sick day. Seriously, you can't take a sick day? Get some Advil oh cold God. and sinus. I have some back here. Oh, it's so good. He dragged her out of her sick bed. Yeah. Told her, put it's on like, your you North Face off? puffer. Dragged her straight out of the Bible. On truth. <laughs> Um, I think that maybe a, a misconception with a lot of guys that they think, oh, if I don't look like, you know, this or I don't, you know, have this chiseling or whatever, like Mark Henry said, you know, cuts don't make you strong. <laughs> it's true. Cuts don't make you strong. He's, he's pretty strong. Dude. Mark Henry's awesome. Yeah, he's Mark a strong Henry. guy. I love him. He's my favorite. You know who Mark Henry is? Who is he? They're referencing somebody from WWE. That was a scripted line written by someone. <laughs> cuts don't make you strong. You know, I thought that that was a good one when Mark Henry's in it. Shut up. Pull your goddamn nose. Isn't all of wrestling fake anyway? Like, it's just a performance. It is a performance. Just like drag is a performance. Wow. But we can't. I mean, they wouldn't like drag, yeah. unfortunately. No, they would call them groomers, pedos. For sure. Except on television, they watch men in less clothing mm -hmm. jump, hump, and shake their rumps. On each other. But drag is too far. He seems like the type that would, like, enjoy beauty pageants. Oh, absolutely. He killed John Bonet. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. It's not Burke. It's this f -er, This f We literally dude. found him. My God, what a freak. R.I.P. Seriously. Yeah, cuts don't make you strong. And strength is attractive to women. Strength that is built on a deep knowledge and experienced truth of a foundation. That's nice. what's attractive, I think, to quality. To quality mm -hmm. chicks. Mm -hmm. Oh, why just to cut quality, her off? To quality chicks. Yeah, their editing the whole time has been interesting. I like that this logo looks like somebody's face is on the side of their face. It's melting. His <laughs> ear is also yeah, melting. Yeah, I don't know. And we've got a bayonet. Good, so you can stab and shoot someone. That guy made that logo and he was like, honey, look what I did. I thought I could <laughs> do that liberal art stuff. And she's like, 12 no, hours in really Adobe good. Illustrator for this? No, he did this on Snapchat with the fucking... <laughs> Like the pen he's like with his finger. Yeah. Also, like the mountains just look like close ups of ingrown hairs. <laughs> Those aren't mountains. No, they're That's, not. I don't know what they are, but they're certainly not mountains. Not my, not mountains I've seen. Jesus. At least the stars are symmetrical, but they probably found some Seriously. PNG online and copied and pasted. Yeah. The only thing that's original in this logo is definitely <laughs> the guy in the middle. That was a homemade project. Oh He's my like, God. if Abraham Lincoln was part of the Habsburg family, you know, the family with all the incest babies, King Charles. Yes. That guy. Yes. I was also going to say, you know how like... 
I think it was like a couple of years ago, someone had the very first face transplant ever. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks like a botched face transplant. And I'm all for face transplants. Listen, yeah. I'm pro face transplant. Of course. But this guy, he found a victim and just pasted it on. Like, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's scary. That's also not a, a good looking face. It's frightening. Like Michael Myers in the militia. Oh my Jamie God. Lee Curtis is running from that and I don't blame her. No, I don't either. Trust 100%. me, we're all running. Even the leftists who like don't know how to run. Yeah. We're so slow. We're yeah. so weak. I'm taking my soy out of here. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You're not getting any of my milk. Mm -mm. Um, What are your final thoughts? You know, I, I'm just glad that I got to make another video with the Sinster herself. You like it? Sinner it. and sister. What are you going to do about it? It's pretty great. Cross over the century. Uh, obviously. You know, the only way that I could do this would be with with you. You know what I mean? Oh. So I, I do, um, it was a traumatic experience and I do blame you for everything that I'm going to go through in the next couple of weeks. As you should. But I, I also think maybe, maybe this was a good thing. It was. Maybe I'll come out stronger. God gives his toughest battles to his most beta soldiers and... <laughs> Absolutely. We are. Yeah, literally us. Literally me, though. Yeah, we're serving. Well, thank you so much for being a part of Sin Miss. Thank you for spending day 10 of the 12 Days of Sin Miss with us. Uh, where could the sinners at home find you? You can find me on YouTube, and that's about it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Check out my YouTube please. You were banned from Twitter, right? Suspended? Uh, not suspended. Permanently. Oh. Permanently banned from Twitter. Yep. So that's, I lit that's, it's literally YouTube. And also <laughs> check out Jake's Never Stop campaign. Yes. He's doing yes, some absolutely. good things over there. I have a little, uh, a fund for people with chronic illness if you want to check that out. And, um, yeah. It's about yeah. it. Merry Sin Miss. Merry Sin Miss to all. And we have two days left of Sin Miss. I'm filming this out of order, but I'm sure it's been fun. It's It's been such a blast. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's been perfect. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this a tiny, tiny thumbs up and subscribe to both of us down below. I'll make sure to leave Jake's channel in the description as well as his fun for people with chronic illness. Thank you for spending day 10 of Sin Miss with us and I'll see you, you tomorrow for, for day 11. Bye. Bye. Bye.